Well, it happens every time. A rare occasion, an Amber Alert is issued. There is a strong sense of urgency. Uh, that was the case very early this morning when an alert was issued in Iowa. In this case, as WOWT 6 News' Brandon Scott reports, it did help solve the disappearance of a baby boy from Urbandale. But the story's end is horrific. The dead bodies of the man and the baby were found just south of the border in Missouri. When nine-month-old Logan Habibovich disappeared from a Des Moines suburb on Tuesday, local law enforcement hinged their hopes of finding him on an Amber Alert. And while that alert did help find him, it wasn't enough to save him. Authorities believe the remains discovered in this charred SUV are that of Logan and his father, Elvis Habibovich, suspected of abducting his son. The Missouri State Patrol found the vehicle in a remote area near the Iowa-Missouri border six hours before the Amber Alert was issued, meaning Logan was most likely already dead when the alert went out. Last month, an Amber Alert issued here in Omaha led to the discovery of this vehicle sought in connection with the disappearance of four-year-old Josue Marinero. But by the time that alert went out, Josue's body had already been tossed in the Elkhorn River. Last month, his neighbor told us that when she received the alert, she suspected the worst. When you saw that name and you saw the description of the car, did you instantly know? Who that was? It took me like a second or two, but then it was it was a big shock. I was I was I was heartbroken of knowing that the that the boy was in danger. That uh, child had, uh, already was probably already deceased by the time we issued the Amber Alert. It's just that's when law enforcement became aware of the abduction. Lieutenant Jeremy McCoy coordinates Nebraska's Amber Alerts through the Nebraska State Patrol. And even though an alert didn't save Josue Marinero, he is proud of its overall success since its inception. They're very effective. Um, we've had Amber Alert here in Nebraska since 2002. We've only had 15 Amber Alerts in that time. Uh, we've had 14 successful recoveries. Elvis Habibovich shared custody of the boy with the boy's mother and had him most of the day on Tuesday. When he failed to return him last night, his mother contacted police. That Amber Alert was issued about five hours later. Reporting live with photographer M.H. Danker, Brandon Scott, WWT6 News.